Anything which causes one part of the trunk only to push inwards or to pull outwards will cause uneven blood flow because in most of the body there are one-way backflow valves, meaning in the veins of the body, the veins are the blood vessels that take the blood back to the heart, there are one-way backflow valves. So in your arms and in your legs, if you squeeze the thighs like I'm doing now, like this, it will squeeze the blood out of the blood vessels where I'm squeezing and it will push the blood towards my heart. It, the blood will not get pushed towards my legs because there's a one-way backflow valve, like a door that only opens inwards but not outwards. So as you squeeze the thighs, it will push the blood toward the heart but not back the other way. Similarly with the arms. The one-way backflow valves in the arms mean that when I squeeze my arm, either with my hand, like an external pressure massage, or with my muscle, by making the muscle tight, that will squeeze veins, blood vessels that go back to the heart, to actually help blood flow go back to the heart and promote circulation. So one of the ways you can promote circulation is by tensing and then relaxing muscles. When you tense a muscle in your arm or you squeeze a muscle with an external massage, that pushes the blood toward the heart. When you relax a muscle in the arm or the leg or release the pressure of an external pressure massage, that will cause the one-way backflow valves to open and pull the blood toward that region. So this is a useful way of moving blood, contracting and expanding muscles. It's called the musculoskeletal pump of blood through the body. Now, this pump will always work to pull blood toward the heart if you're talking arms and legs. But if you're talking anywhere around the spine, the spine is known for the last 80 years to have valveless veins around the spine. Valveless veins around the spine mean that if you squeeze the middle of your trunk, the blood won't go back to the heart, it'll go in both directions. Hence, it's really important to move your spine in a wave-like fashion, from the bottom to the top, or the top to the bottom. And by doing that, you actually are doing like squeezing the toothpaste tube from the top to the bottom, from the bottom to the top, and it promotes the flow of blood in the body. This is why when you see a cat and a dog do upward facing cat or dog poses, they're doing it one vertebrae at a time. And this is important, not just in posture, but in breathing as well.